Welcome to our second segment of Livestock Safety. Next, we will be discussing the hazards around working with livestock. As mentioned in the previous video clip, understanding animal behavior is the first step in working with safely with livestock. In addition to the fight or flight response, livestock have other instinctive behaviors that we need to recognize. Watch for the following livestock hazards to ensure safety on the farm. First, try to avoid maternal animals. Mothers with young often try to protect their young from danger and may react aggressively if you are seen as a threat. Next, watch out for older male animals. Male hormones can cause unpredictable behavior. Most livestock group together for safety. Take caution when working with single animals as they may be more flighty or difficult to handle. Finally, it is important to recognize that animals become accustomed to their surroundings and may become unpredictable when they are moved to a new or strange area. Animals also may be unpredictable when there are new noises or things near them. For example, a moving piece of garbage could cause cattle to spook due to the unfamiliar noises and movement, or it could just cause the cow to slow down and investigate the new object. Since animals can behave differently to hazards, it's better to be safe than sorry and keep an eye out for any and all potential risks. Understanding livestock flight zones and point of balance will allow you to move animals with minimal stress. Knowing how to properly move animals will decrease injury and time spent when doing chores. The point of balance for animals is their shoulder. If you are in front of the shoulder, they will go backwards, and if you are behind the shoulder, they will move forwards. Using the point of balance when working with large groups of animals is important because it prevents a fight or flight response. Using a quiet voice and moving animals in a well-lit area is the best way to keep them calm. If an animal or group does become agitated when working with them, make sure to wait at least 30 minutes to work with them again and make sure it is longer for any animals that may be hazardous. To ensure your personal safety as well as the animals on the farm, be sure to keep an eye out for hazards and use strategic movements to keep animals as calm as possible. Please join us for our next segment regarding proper personal safety guidelines and biosecurity information.